When people love you, they give you more money. How about that thought? When people love you, they give you more money. A friend of ours, Kirk Kaufman, wrote this book, Follow This Path. It was a study of a bank. It's a top five bank wanted to know how many people loved us so much they wouldn't go anywhere else. Here's what they found out. Only 11% loved the bank they wouldn't go anywhere. 22 said, eh, satisfied. 38, we'd switch. 28% in that survey said, we don't even care, we don't even like you. But here's the great story. When you parse this, of the 11% that loved them so much they wouldn't go anywhere else, they deposited $8,136 more, proving when you love somebody, they give you more money. So the president of the bank says, why don't we start a campaign where we love on our customers? So they start this one-year campaign, loving on the customer. At the end of one year, that bank noticed a 6% increase in loving on the customer. Now, that may not sound like much, but this was a top five bank. Do you know what 6% was to a top five bank? 6% equal $1 billion. Yeah, <laughs> Proving when you love somebody, they'll give you more money. I gave this speech a while back, and a guy comes up to me. He says, hey, I've got a story like that, small scale, John Hickson, Sweetwater, Texas. That's the son of John Hickson Sr., who owned this little grocery store in Sweetwater, Texas. In their best year, they did $250,000. Old man passes away. John comes in to see whether they can make a go of the business, and he interviews the customers, and he asks them two questions. What did you like when my dad ran the store? What didn't you like? And when he asked the customer what they liked, they said, oh, uh, good produce, good cuts of meat, stores clean. Huh? What didn't you like when my dad ran the store? Uh, your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, old man Hickson was a bit of a knob and uh, a tool and no one cared for him. And he could run the store, but not nice. So John Hickson loves all his customers. Right? And he greets, he tells everybody, all the employees, I want you to greet these customers. So they come in the door, welcome to Hickson's, what can we do for your day? Uh, want some oatmeal? All right, let's go. Oh, get some oatmeal. You want steel cut or regular? Uh, I want regular. You want some raisins or nuts? You can't have nuts, you've got diverticulitis. Uh, raisins don't agree with me. Uh, you got any brown sugar? Yeah, let's get some brown sugar. Here you go, here's your brown sugar. Walks into the door, thanks for shopping at Hickson's. We know you have other choices. Hey, if you get in a jam, uh, we'll deliver. Okay, this goes on for a year. At the end of one year, after this loving on the customer campaign, Hickson's, which did a quarter million, did $1.4 million in sales. When you love somebody, you give you more money.